Hi folks, welcome back to B Mills Farm. I know it's been a while. I've kind of been missing and I've uh, just had a lot going on. A lot that I can't talk about. A lot that I can talk about. But all in all, everything's good. So today, and I'll probably do a video of today and tomorrow, but we are cleaning this place out once and for all getting rid of all the junk cleaning this place getting it ready for the so i can put the calves over here as well as when we receive the longhorns um i went and rented a dingo so that should make quick work of everything um yeah should uh shouldn't take too long with that get this place cleaned out but the the uh hay is super super compact and all weaved together so i tried uh forking it out and i got a couple truckloads but it uh for the price of that thing it's well worth it i think so without further ado let's get to work Thing's a little bigger than I thought it was. Um, and I used the grapple just to, I got the grapple attachment as well as a bucket just so that I could loosen up all the, all the hay and scrape it out with a bucket. Um, but this particular stall is a little bit too uneven to use that, I think. Mama's got a huge, when she was in here a long time ago, before YouTube videos even, she was in here and the center of this place is dug out like a foot different than the edges so i think i'm gonna put the uh put the bucket on real quick and try to uh, scrape this out level it out and see what happens
got quite a bit of work done tonight. In the morning, I'll come back out and hit it hard again. I got that stall cleaned out and fairly level. Um, of course, it's like 45 and super muddy here. So I was hoping that the ground would be frozen, but I think the ground is yet to freeze. But that thing's definitely very handy. It's a Toro Dingo. It's like a mini skid steer. And uh, I don't know, I think I might look into a used unit for one of those because it's perfect for clean out stalls. And uh, it doesn't tear up the yard too bad like a full size skid steer. They kind of wreck stuff quick. So anyways, gonna end it off there for tonight. Um, this will all be one video, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, folks. It's the next morning. Um, winter came back, which is really nice because the ground's nice and firm now. It's like in the low 30s, upper 20s. Um, it's not as ideal for me, but I'd rather have the ground solid and less muddy and I can just bundle up more. Got the dingo warming up. Um, today's goal is to get this all, the chicken coop, get rid of that, get rid of the glass, get rid of all the stuff that's just been floating around here forever. Um, get things organized, get the barn finished, cleaned out, and yeah, uh, I got gates there. All this stuff's got to go too. I uh, got gates for that opening gonna put a gate at the end of the wing I put on I'm gonna put a gate out that side so that they can go out into the yard and then a small uh, just a small four foot gate over there so I can walk in and out of easily so those are the chores for today I got some people coming over to help which I really really appreciate uh, yeah follow along and I'll update every once in a while All right, it has been a day. I thought I was gonna have to do this video into tomorrow too, just cause I didn't have much time to do footage today cause we are just hustling along, but got quite a bit done here. Got gates, got, went with two six foot instead of a 12 foot. Um, I think it'll be easier for When they're open, it won't be blocking so much over here. When the gate's open, it won't stick out so far. I don't know, just, a, just an idea. So we got gates here. Got this place pretty much all cleaned out. Got a four foot gate over there. Got to finish it still. Got the gate's done, but um, just have to close off from the building to the gate. Got some garbage I got to get rid of. Got a gate here off the wing. Um, left these gates on. Got this place pretty well cleaned out. It's fairly level. It's not perfect, but I'll just pitch forth the rest of, spread the hay out the rest, and then uh, supposed to be getting a bunch of wood chips in here. So that'll be nice. That'll be a lot easier. It turns out cleaning up hay is a major pain in the butt. So we're gonna try wood chips with the cattle and see how that goes. I think it'll be a lot easier come cleanup time. Um, got some hay feeders hung in here. This is all thanks to my father-in-law, brother-in-law. Uh, I think he's my second cousin-in-law or something like that. Either way, they they all came over today and busted butt. So I really appreciate that. 
it's always nice to have extra hands on here so this gate all right so this wall is gone obviously go to the outside of the building took this wall out or this part of the fence out that's going to be a gate that opens to out here which this field i'm going to fence off the cattle are going to graze because there's free food out here um on the other side of the wing is that other gate so we can either have them access to this field or we can open that gate and have access to inside the corral now this is all nice and opened up that end down there that stall is going to be all hay for now hopefully we have enough room for all of our animals so that's going to be hay and yeah Things are starting to look good. It feels nice to have things cleaned up, organized, have a, a system down or a goal at least. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep rolling. Now it's time to go get the calves their dinner. These guys refuse to leave. So this is the wall I'm gonna put back here where it was. So it blocks the calves from the from the hay. All right, let's go make some bottles. I can't forget all the hay. There's a lot more hay than I thought in that building. So I brought it all out here to start my compost pile. And I even cleaned up all the trees that have been laying in my yard for months now so that little dingo does wonders this is the start of my compost pile it's hard to tell how big it is really but it's a pretty darn good size and this is all the trees that were in my yard and i got the big pieces over there under the apple trees that i'll split and burn later on hey guys calves are getting gaining some weight so that's good um sorry i haven't been really good on videos lately um got a lot going on that's not farm related and very little that's going on farm related so when the only animals on the farm besides chickens are these two guys and they don't really do anything but drink bottles a couple times a day so not a whole lot of exciting content, but there will be a ton of good content coming. And once spring rolls around, it'll be pretty much in full swing. Lots of stuff and hopefully even some new animals I haven't had on the farm yet. Um, that I'm looking into for some customers that want this very particular animal and hopefully I can find a way to get it for them. But that'll all be at a later date. Got to get a lot of a lot of the details figured out before I just jump into something um, without knowing exactly what I'm doing and exactly what the customers want. But 
think it's a venture worth exploring. So that'll do it for this video. I appreciate all the support as always. Keep liking, subscribing, sharing. Um, I'm losing a ton of subscribers for, I don't know if it's not doing videos every day or if it's the fact that the pigs are gone. Not sure what it is, but either way, we'll keep rolling. Until next time, keep farming. See you later.